Hi everyone, welcome to Give Kids a Smile Day. Uh, even though we couldn't do this event in person this year, we're happy that we can at least provide you guys with some awesome information virtually. Uh, just to introduce ourselves, my name is Aruj Malik. I'm a third year dental student at Toro College of Dental Medicine. Uh, I'm Tanisha, I'm also a third year student. I'm Nayab, I'm also a third year student. And I'm Esther, and I'm also a third year student. And we're really excited to be here with you guys. So before we dive in today, I want you guys to take a second to look at this photo. And I just wanna see what's the first thing you guys notice. So did anyone notice he's missing an eyebrow? I definitely didn't notice that he was missing an eyebrow until someone else mentioned it. So this kind of just goes to show how important dentistry is. And the first thing we notice about people are like their smiles and it plays such an important role in how we feel about ourselves. So what does dentistry encompass? So a lot of people think dentistry is only about science, but it's so much more than that. Um, I saw this picture once that, you know, said the word dentist encompasses um, doctor for the letter D and then it had like engineer for like the letter EN in dentist and then IST was kind of standing for artist. So that was kind of um, interesting. And there's also like this humanism aspect to dentistry that involves the idea of helping others and achieve like a better self-esteem and working on improving their oral health care. Uh, so we know like dentistry helps people get better smiles, but there are many other reasons to consider dentistry. So for example, there's technology, um, becoming involved with um, scientific advancement of dentistry. So you're gonna see later on in the presentation, we're gonna talk about something called 3D printing. Um, there's also, you know, you get to be creative, you get to put your artistic skills to use, being able to like build up a tooth um, after it fractured or cracked, um, maintaining aesthetics so people feel comfortable with their own smiles. Um, and you're also like detecting disease. We don't just look at the teeth, we look at everything around like the head and neck area. And a lot of diseases have oral manifestations. So we could be like the first line of help for those kind of people. Um, and we can be our own leader, you know, you can own your own dental practice and be your own boss. Okay, so if you were to Google dentistry, this is probably the definition that you'd find. Um, so I'll read it for you. Dentistry is a field of medicine that consists of diagnosis, prevention, treatment, rehabilitation of diseases, disorders, and conditions of the mouth. So that is a bit dry of a definition, I'm sure, but there are a lot of cool fields within dentistry itself. Um, we don't just look at the teeth, we actually get to look at everything from the neck up. In terms of pathways in dentistry, there are many specialties that you can focus on depending on your interests. Okay, so now we're gonna go into some of the areas of dental practice and treatment. Um, so most of you before today associate cavities with dentists. So yes, that is a big part of what we do. Um, we can remove cavities and replace them with a certain type of material. Um, and we're responsible for preventing them. And that's by teaching good instructions on how to brush and making sure we get the right information to keep um, teeth nice and clean while home. Um, but not only that, we can keep the smile straight. So if anyone has had braces before, it was probably an orthodontist that you saw, and that's a special type of dentist that can keep all your teeth perfectly straight. Um, dentists also build back up your smile if you have any missing teeth or need part of a tooth replaced. So, Crowns are one way to do that. Um, so basically, if you have really major cavity and half the tooth is already gone uh, because of the cavity, or let's say the tooth broke somewhat, um, if you got into an accident or something, we can cover the tooth with this outer shell, and that's the crown, and that looks like what your normal tooth should have looked like. Um, implant is if you have a missing tooth, um, then you can basically get like a full piece that goes into your bone um, and then dentures is another thing we do. Um, you might have a grandparent that has one and it's a whole set of teeth that go in at once if you have like, a lot of missing teeth. Um, so dentists can e even do oral surgery, like taking out teeth from the mouth, which I bet some of you know, but I bet what you didn't know um, is that plastic surgery could be done within the field of dentistry. So even though most people think only plastic surgeons can do plastic surgery, even specialized uh, dentists, 
like oral surgeons can do it. So for example, uh, if someone got into a major accident, their entire jaw broke in half, or they broke their nose, to fix that up, it would be plastic surgery that oral surgeons do um, also. So they would need to get special training after dental school to be an oral surgeon. Um, another cool thing is that we can use lasers. Um, I know there's a new technology that allows lasers to even take out cavities, uh, but here at the dental school, we uh, use lasers to remove or reshape gum tissue. So if someone has a gum problem, that's a really good thing to use. Um, dentists can also search for clues about your smile. So if you've ever seen any crime scene TV shows, you may have come across detectives using dentistry or a forensic dentist solving crimes. Um, so what do I mean by that? Well, maybe there was like a bite mark found at a crime scene. Um, so a dentist could try to match those marks that were found uh, to dental impressions of different suspects. So impressions are basically like a record of someone's teeth so they can match those up and see who the suspect, um, look at all the suspects. As you can see, dentists can do a variety of different types of things. Most people don't usually think a dentist does. So it's, it's very um, inclusive. Um, and so um, we're just gonna go a little bit into what we do in the dental school here. So um, the first two years we work in a simulation lab and that's basically, if you can see the picture here, um, a student is working on a mannequin, which is kind of like, um, like a, almost like a person because we have the teeth in there and we can practice um, dentistry on that on that uh, model. Um, so we get to do that before we go into treating real people. Um, and then there's also different uh, things that we can do. So we can use uh, 3D printers at the school. Um, and that's basically printing out like a model of the teeth in like a, in that orange box that you see that's uh, 3D printing. And we'll go more into that a little bit later um, in a later slide. So dental careers are ranked among the best career choices according to the US News and World Report. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about why dentistry is such a good field and why it was ranked one of the best career choices. The biggest reason why dentistry is such a great field is because there's a really high demand for dentists. Because there's a shortage of dentists and the population gets bigger, then more dentists are retiring and more dentists are therefore needed. And also at the same time, there's a very high profit for dentists, meaning that dentists do make a nice salary and it is a really great career path for them. So it's a very, it's a big growing field. And at the same time, it's a profitable field. Come on guys, are you interested yet? Do you all wanna be dentists? So there are more careers in dentistry than only being a dentist and we'll go through them in just a little bit. Um, the dental team that you'll see at your dentist appointment um, in the order that you'll probably see them is first the dental hygienist. And then you'll see a dental assistant who's working along with the dentist and behind the scenes, depending on what you'll need in your mouth, you'll have the work of a dental technician. Okay, so first and foremost is the dentist. So how to become one. So you, it takes about all of eight years to become a dentist, including college and dental school. But good news guys, um, you're, pretty much on your way there because you've already reached high school. So there are different types of dentists where you would uh, need a couple more years of school and special training called residency. Um, so for example, if you wanted to work with kids, um, that would be pediatric dentist. Or if you wanted to do braces, that would be orthodontist. Or if you wanted to do some awesome surgeries, that would be an oral surgeon. So that would just be a couple more years after dental school. All right, so let's talk about the dental hygienist. Uh, so when you visit the dentist um, dental office, a lot of times they'll do, do like a cleaning for you. Even though a dentist can do your cleaning, most likely you'll be seeing a dental hygienist for that. 
Um, and the road to become a dental hygienist actually has a fewer years um, less compared to becoming a dentist. So instead of college, you can go straight to a two-year dental hygiene associate program or a four-year dental hygiene bachelor program. And then you can practice as a dental hygienist. And you know we know them at the dental office usually as the ones who clean our teeth, but they do so much more like different preventative treatments. And what I mean by that is treatments that are meant to like prevent cavities and so on. So for example, they can apply sealants on your teeth and sealants are basically like this little seal on your tooth um, that prevents cavities. They can also apply fluoride, um, which makes your teeth stronger. Uh, they can take x-rays and they can also assist the dentist during different procedures. So they do a lot of other things besides just removing class and calculus and cleaning your teeth. Okay, now we're going to dental assistance. Um, so a dental assistant, basically, as the name applies, is someone who assists the dentist. Um, so to become one, usually you would get hired at a dental office, um, and then they would train you right there. Um, and college level education is encouraged. Um, and sometimes there's a dental assisting education program. Um, and basically what a dental assistant does, they schedule appointments uh, for the dentist. They prepare the uh, patients for treatment. Um, taking blood pressure and pulse before the appointment starts, um, helping the patients um, with instructional materials. So like giving them information on how to brush and floss, giving them the little baggie with the toothbrush and floss sometimes, even though a dental hygienist or a dentist themselves can give that, um, the dental uh, assistant um, they usually is the person to do that. Uh, they sterilize the equipment. Um, so it's like extra... Um, strong cleaning, taking x-rays, um, and then helping them during procedures. So helping the dentist by handing them different tools that they need to work on the patient. Okay, the next thing we're gonna talk about is dental technician. So dental technician is actually a really cool field because it's really behind the scenes and a lot of people don't even know that it exists. Um, in order to become a dental technician, one has to graduate from high school and they can either become it one of two ways, either work in a dental laboratory and then by default, just from that experience do it. And then also they could also do a two year accredited program. And that way they wouldn't have to work in a laboratory first and they could just go straight to the program. So what does dental technician do? So they're going to create replacements for natural teeth. So let's say, for example, the dentist comes and they might take um, maybe a scan of someone's teeth if someone has a broken tooth. But the dentist isn't necessarily going to make the broken tooth for them. The dentist is going to send what the patient has and what they need, and they're going to send it to a special lab. And at this lab, the technician is going to actually make that tooth for the patient. Once the dental technician makes that actual tooth, then they give it back to the dentist, and then the dentist places it in the patient's mouth. But you really need that dental technician who's going to be making the, that, the fake teeth in the lab. So like we spoke about, they can make um, different crowns, which is like a cap on the tooth. Um, they can make special models for the dentist in the office, and they could basically make just different appliances that could really help people have a beautiful smile and mouth. So now we're going to talk about, I'm going to show you a little bit of a video, and the first thing I'm going to show you is how someone could take a digital scan of someone's teeth. So instead of putting like this goop in your mouth that makes an impression of someone's teeth, I'm going to show you how you could do it digitally. So if you see here, the dentist is holding a scanner. And if you look at the image on the computer screen behind the dentist, he's really just um, going around with the scanner. And it, it's, it, it makes a 3D image. And now it's really cool. He could actually print this image and you see the teeth now it looks exactly like the patient's mouth so and he was able to do that just with a scanner um and also if we could go to like 12 minutes and 30 seconds around there yeah that's perfect so this is just to give you an idea about 3d printing i just want you to 
to see what this is, that we see this this isn't ex isn't exactly how we do it in the dental office, but you see that we're building something basically almost out of nothing, and we're three D printing it. We're making this object into into like a real a real object. And if we could go scroll down a little bit further down, it shows what our three D printer is in school. A little bit further. Yeah, right there. This is just another example of 3D printing. So this orange box right over here is actually our 3D printer. You saw it a little bit before. And when people either have broken teeth or um, you know something's wrong with their teeth that needs to be fixed, this is the best way that we could do it because we could really, we could print out their digital scan and then we could be able to use it for their mouth and fabricate something you know, really nice to give them a really nice smile. So guys, if you're interested in dentistry, something that some things that you could do now is either you could shadow a dentist. Some places have um, pre dental programs, and if anyone has any questions or wants to learn anything more, feel free to ask us now or in the chat, or you could email us at tcdmcommunications@turo.edu.